Hello Aquarius, getting ready to do your reading. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of September. Let's see. Ooh, Seven of Swords, Three of Cups. Okay. So obviously this could be possibly a third party situation, a secret. It doesn't have to be. Let's see what's going on here. It could be a secret celebration. What's on your mind is the Hanged Man and the Six of Swords. We have the Hermit and the Judgment card in the past. Someone else has the Six of Wands, Two of Cups energy. And the outcome is the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Coins. Interesting. Under the deck is the Lovers. So it looks good for love in, in your reading right now. A lot of cards about maybe celebrating a date. If you've been waiting for somebody, no matter the circumstances, no matter how long you've been together, um, definitely looks like something is going to happen this month for you. With both Hangman and Hermit, and then the Six of Swords showing up. All right, let's go back around and see. I feel like for somebody there was secret love or someone secretly loved you and they're finally going to tell you. Okay, we have the Five of Coins, no worries. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. High Priestess. This is the other person's energy in the world. Some of you, you are going to be in a relationship if you're not right now by the end of the month. Because you have the Nine of Cups wish fulfilled. You could be ending being single. This person could be coming to you and telling you that they love you or they recognize you as a soulmate. They may not say it in those words, of course, but they know it, like they feel it. When you see High Priestess in the Six of Wands, this person feels it. You may not know why they are drawn to you that way, but they are. What is the Five of Coins? This could be somebody getting out of a third party. Yeah, look what's under the deck, the tower. This is like secretly being in a third party, getting out of the third party, or someone is getting out of it. Someone is alone because they want this new beginning with you, which is good, actually. This is good energy. Sometimes the five of coin, you know, represents being away from the one you love and, and missing them, being out in the cold. Okay. What is a nine of cups? What is a nine of cups? Okay, two of coin, you have that in reverse though, so you've made up your mind. What is a ten of cups? Five of wands in reverse, no more wanting to argue. Okay, what is the high priestess? Chariot moving. And what is the world card? Four of wands, a new beginning. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Look what's under the deck. Okay, so this is very specific and I can see exactly what it's saying. The, the details are going to vary, so I'm going to throw them all out there. So if you're not married right now, just discard it because I can see it different ways. Because this is about someone thinking something through. This is about somebody tired of waiting or tired of being alone or in a third party or something. Uh, someone is... Somebody is married probably with Ten of Cups, but they don't want to deal with this situation anymore with the Five of Wands in reverse. They don't want to fight with the wife, the husband anymore. They don't want to put effort into it anymore. Let me see what else that's saying really quick. What's the Five of Wands in reverse? The past, not wanting to deal with the past. This is somebody who, like I said, their intuition, they're, they know, they realize now like you're the one. Maybe this is you. But this is getting in a car, this is traveling, this is taking a trip, this is going to be with you or going, um, you going to be with them. Hmm. I'm kind of getting some of you maybe living together with this person by the end of the month with the Four of Wands. Someone's tired of being in a third party because they never get to see you or you never get to see them and someone is deciding this month that it's no longer fun. So I think they get this a lot for Aquarius in your readings. Six of Cups, please. Yeah, tired of hiding it, tired of being sad, tired of missing you or you're missing them. You have a very simple reading here actually, but the outcome is that the two of you will finally be together. Some of you, again, if you've been by yourself a lot, like you see this person and then you go home, five of coins and you feel alone or that's how they feel, they're tired of it. Somebody may reveal this relationship is going on. If it's not a third party, though it kind of really looks like it, it could be that um, this is like a boss, someone you're dating, uh, you're the boss, you guys are not supposed to be together. Oops. Okay. What is the chariot? Where's the chariot going? 
some temperance in reverse two of wands look at that someone is losing patience now usually the foundation is the other person can be your energy but somebody is losing patience they decided that they want to be in a relationship with you so whatever that means married um, not married together so it could be a Sagittarius or Taurus what is the four of wands five of cups queen of swords six of coin someone is thinking about you a lot the eight of swords under there they miss they miss you so some of you may have kicked this person out maybe you kicked him to the curb you said you know what if this is going to be a third party and you're not going to be with me i don't want to deal with this anymore maybe you put them maybe you put them on hold you told him you need to come up with a plan you need to come up with a decision either you stay with your other person you stay in that ten of cups other relationship or you come be with me so i feel like some of you you know you said i'm tired of, of you know getting the six of coin the the little crumbs that just it's just not worth it is kind of what i'm seeing here and you called them out you told them exactly how you're feeling if that hasn't happened that will this month you need to tell them that you need to put your your foot down is what i'm getting at this reading it will change the dynamics of this relationship you need to just be happy be on your own and things will come together this person will realize how much you mean to them so you might not be communicating right now that might be what's going on and this is a nice energy like i keep repeating that it's like that knowing like because you guys aren't together the knowing that you're the one they want to be with so what are they going to do about it they don't want to wait around anymore they want to make a plan so very basic reading but i can see what it's saying for some of you let me go up to the two of coins two of coins see. see that's exactly it you put your foot down those two of coins you know here you're weighing up your options what should i do this is like okay i'm dropping the coins i know why because somebody was saying what you wanted to hear page of wands all that hot talk you know all those good things they were saying all talk no action versus action he's coming in with a cup he's moving he's making plans this over here is somebody saying oh yeah i'll get a divorce oh yeah i'll leave this person oh yeah we'll always be together but then they have an excuse well i can't get out of the relationship because i have kids or you know i can't be with you because of my job well it's like you know what then we're done i'm moving on i'm tired of being put on hold i'm tired of being you know i'm tired of wasting my time is what i'm seeing here and you knew they were all talk and you've known that for a while so if they don't take action which doesn't look like they're going to you're dropping them you're dropping it but because you put your foot down and do this they finally smarten up now you might put your foot down here in september and it may not move forward until maybe october i'm just possibly i don't really see that happening in the reading i'm just saying um depending on your timeline so maybe you may have already told this person that you're tired of waiting for them See, because this person, like, there's no fighting here with the ex. Ten of Cups is whoever you're married to, so I'm assuming this is the other person. But they're still there, the Six of Cups upright, and they're still there at the Four of Coins. So they're definitely, definitely hanging on to this other situation. So I think that's important, too, for you to know. That you're waiting... If you've been waiting for this person to make up their mind, you're moving on with the Six of Swords. You may not be moving quickly. To me, Six of Swords is a slow-moving energy. So you're kind of like drifting off. You mean it. You're, you're, you're moving on, but you're not like racing out of there. But if you move on, take time for you, you will be happy, Nine of Cups, wish fulfilled. It is the right thing to do. All right. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a really good week and take care.